I'm going to tell you about the one that got away and the one that did not. So this PA-14 that replaced my Old Town 17 tandem loon, I keep it in the basement. Very convenient with these Hobie wheels. Wheels right out, I'm 30 yards from the water. And I could do all this solo. Got to do a little light lifting. Lift up the rear, let the wheels drop out of the scupper holes. They fall to the ground. And I made this ramp out of PVC pipes and some PVC 45 degree bends. And you'll see, I just kind of balance it to get it started. And then it slides right down the grooves of the hull of the kayak. Extremely easy. Down in the water. Comes out pretty good as well. No issues. And uh, when I take it out, I just lean the kayak over put the wheels back under it and I'm good to go reverse the process so I load it up I get out and I'm casting I'm just across not not 150 yards from my place over by wetbacks uh, old boat house dock and you'll see just a minute right here I'm gonna I'm gonna get into a nice one now the weekend before I'd caught about a 17 incher, which today was my biggest bass. But I'm pulling this one in, and I know this is larger. I don't know what it is, but I just know it's larger. That's a medium heavy rod, and it's bending over pretty good. And then I realized I do not have my net with me. Another thing is, I'm kind of new to the kayak. I don't want to get my reel in the water, so I'm trying to manage that. I grab the line. Some lessons learned here. Now watch this. Boom down. In the water. Gone. You can see it's a nice fish. It's still cold. The water is about 52 degrees. So they're not overly active yet. I'm slowing it down here. Just so I can get a good look at it. Huge mouth on this thing. And I'm catching this on the Jackhammer Chatterbait pumpkin seed color. 3 8 ounce, I believe it was. And you can see this, is, this right here is where the fish gets off. It is gone. So I'm fishing for about an hour and I'm catching, you know, 10 to 12 inches uh, like this one, which is fun. You can see I went back to my place, picked up my net. Uh, kind of careful take a few photos but then about 10 minutes before I'm ready to leave I lock into this one and I knew this one was big I almost didn't get in the net there right away and I'm trying not to screw up my rod handling I still don't have that down pat but I netted it which was awesome you can tell I'm pretty happy with myself so much so where Randy Hughes is across the lake I yell at him because I need a witness. Oh my God. Hoping I got it on camera. Randy! Oh. 20 and a half inches. <laughs> Probably 21, but I'm going conservative. It's a hog! <laughs> it was a hog for me at least. <laughs> Biggest fish I've ever caught. I was pretty oh, damn excited. God. Trying to measure it. It came in about 21, 22, but then I closed the lips and it was about 20 and a half and whatnot, but trying to get some water through the gills here, let it recover. And you'll see, she swims off really nice. And there she goes, a little close up of that. And after that, I went back to the dock. That was it. I, I knew I couldn't do any better. So now it's time to rake up acorns and walnuts from over the winter. Get the chores done. Uh, pull this 
stuff down to the bird pile, take care of it. It was just an awesome day fishing. Twenty and a half inches, although not big for most. Personal best for me. And that's what I had on my mind the rest of the day.